everyone, welcome to the restaurant show. And we are gonna start off today with a fantastic pork Vesuvio. Is that correct, Chef? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. <laughs> I have Executive Chef Matt Kazmerzak from Wise Guys. How are you doing? Doing fantastic, how about yourself? Great, great. I was very excited um, when I saw that this was coming through and I kept saying chicken Vesuvio, but this oh, is yeah, something, yeah. this is a twist on it, isn't it? Oh yeah, it? we do. I love uh, it. Uh, in the restaurant, we do uh, pork chop and we do chicken. Right, of course. Um, so for I love the, this twist though. Oh yeah. So for the show purposes, I went ahead and already cooked the pork chops. It takes okay. about 15 to 20 minutes. Right, because this is, is that called a tomahawk? Is that like a tomahawk style kind of? It's, <laughs> it's a style of it. The tomahawks right. are going to be a little bit bigger of a bone. Right, right. Um, but for this one right here, I um, love it. it's almost the same. It's a, it's probably about the tomahawk's going to be about the double, the double, double the bone size on it. I'm like, is this the one that? Is like this <laughs> but you do have um, steaks that are that big, right? That, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We got steaks much bigger than that. Fantastic. Uh, now for the Vesuvio sauce, okay. which is basically just consists of a uh, chicken stock, um, a little bit of white wine, just to give it okay. some, a little bit of brightness, a um, little splash of lemon juice. Perfect. Because um, this is going to be a really light dish, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's, definitely. It's light absolutely. flavors. Absolutely. A little bit of black pepper, um, dry oregano. I always okay. rec recommend doing a little bit extra dry oregano because right. it gives it that nice Italian flavor. Oh yeah, definitely. And then a little pinch of um, garlic. Some chopped garlic yeah. right there at the end. Excellent. Uh, now you basically just let this reduce down for a little bit. Okay, um, okay. Maybe, you know, the smaller you do it, it won't take as long to reduce it down. Right, right, right. Uh, and for this, I brought up some butter cubes. I love this. Let me, can you show the oh, camera? Yeah. I, because when he Absolutely. was setting up, I was looking at it going, what did he do? And I knew, I knew it as soon as I saw it. <laughs> what did you do? Because this is a great tip for anyone trying to just make a quick sauce oh, at yeah. home. This is, uh, basically, you just cut them however you want. Um, right. I did them smaller because I've got a smaller pot. Right. Uh, but you just toss them in flour. And for this, I did seasoned flour, so just got some garlic. Cayenne, I love it. A little and bit that's, of flavor. And that way, that's that butter and yeah. that flour that's going to thicken it up. Yes. And this basically, when you do a, a butter and flour, it's, it's you know, it's uh, called a roux. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but this way, this basically just takes out the step of adding flour and yeah. butter. You can just keep these in your fridge at home whenever you want to thicken something up, just pop them in. That is a great tip. Yeah. And for those of you who are roux challenged, <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. you burn it, Oh, yeah, or exactly. you don't, you, it thickens up so fast because you don't have control. Because I know, I mean, I've done that before. Sometimes I have a great roux that's nice and brown. Oh, yeah, and I get yeah, that, yeah. but sometimes it's big clumpy mess. So it, it can happen. <laughs> it does big. get a little bit, sometimes it yeah. does get a little bit clumpy. But you know, the best thing you got to do is just, you know, don't freak out about it. Exactly. Especially if you're doing it at the house because the only person you got to impress is yourself. Exactly. So. Or your children. No. Yeah. <laughs> and as long as they're getting fed, they're happy. Exactly. <laughs> So um, that is going to melt, that's what you're going to have to do is melt down and you're going to have oh yeah. that um, and then you'll add a little bit more in there. I just love that tip because that is such a great way to make up. Yeah, this is an easy way to help thicken up all your sauces. You know, I see a lot of people, you know, if I go over to the house, you know, they eat, you know, they're making whatever, their sauces are a little inconsistent right, sometimes. Right, right, so right. I try to give them this tip yeah, of doing, definitely. you know. Um, I have another question for you. If you wanted to do, now what did you, what did you, uh, bread this in or uh, this right here I bred actually bred this in the exact same thing as I did the uh, our seasoned okay, flour great and then we just sear that on your grill or flat top or right. you can even bake it in the oven I mean whatever you have at home beautiful um, but for this one I just cooked it off in a little saute pan and finished it off in the oven and if you wanted to be gluten free what could you use instead of the flour could you just use cornstarch would that you be okay that. yeah okay great cornstarch so and a little water it. pretty yeah. much like a equal parts yeah. cornstarch water That'll help do the, basically do the same thing for the sauce to help thicken it up too. Beautiful. Um, and now as that's thickening up, Chef, what do we have here as our side that we're going to be doing? What did you do with this beautiful? For these, we do. Um, I just want to eat one of them. Just <laughs> they're like just uh, quartered, uh, <laughs> quartered baked potatoes. Gotcha. You know, we cook those off and let them cool down. And right. then we, uh, we chop them into basically like Lincoln logs. Oh, I love it. And then I we love deep it. fry them. And then we, uh, we use them as a little presentation as a side for our sauce. Which we'll see in just a few minutes. But I love that because that's a great way to even use some of the potatoes maybe that you had the night before yeah, and, the, and absolutely. do that for your family. We, try to, we, try to, we don't try to throw anything yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. Um, definitely. That's always, yeah, definitely. Um, and I know potatoes, potatoes are potatoes. Oh, but I love them. This is my favorite way actually. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely. Nice and fried up. Now, um, well, again, while that's uh, thickening up and cooking up, um, I know that you guys have a couple events planned for the spring, which I'm oh, excited. Yeah. And of course, um, they also have that great patio outside and it's covered. Um, great time for this time of year um, mm -hmm. to be sitting outside. And do you get full service outside? Absolutely. Our patio, we seat about what, uh, say about 30 or so people oh, on our patio. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, and it's a full service, you know, we got right. servers come out there. It's covered in right. a big awning. So especially for weather, if it's inclement, it's still a great way to sit outside. Um, I heard that you're also pet friendly out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, for having a restaurant Hilton Head, it's almost, uh, you're almost entitled, entitled to be uh, it's outside, yeah. definitely, and, uh, definitely. pet friendly and everything. So we have, you know, doggy bowls for waters, and we actually have people that come in and order, and just, order stuff off the menu for their pets. Uh, but, it's a lucky pet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't mind. Um, hey, it's, 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 yeah. as long as they're happy. Yeah, um, the pets are they're always happy. We don't mind cooking for them. You and know, I, and I know happy. you have a lot of um, different events coming. Is a good, where's a good place to check out um, some of the different events that you have coming up? I know you have um, a few different cocktail parties oh, yeah. and um, wine dinners that will be coming up in the spring. Our, uh, our Facebook page is probably be the best one. Okay, um, great. We do a lot of advertising in the restaurant, too, okay. um, through our marketing department. And right, then uh, right. Facebook is also the other place we keep a lot of our Wonderful. stuff Wonderful checking it out that way and then also um, I know we've talked about it before but I just want to reiterate because you guys have such a fantastic happy hour what oh, yeah, is yeah. your happy hour uh, we do a 25% off um, all your small plates all your drinks uh, all your entrees so it's just straight across the board yeah on we do the entire bill absolutely um, oh my gosh, and it gives I people it. a lot of way to try our all of our steaks that they're kind of maybe a little bit nervous yeah, about trying. yeah yeah uh, it's a little bit easier to try something when you have 25% off. Exactly. It's a great way to introduce it. And I know there's some fantastic um, oh, yeah. we facettas you're that you guys it. do. And, oh, yeah, um, yeah. and what's my absolute favorite? It's with the shrimp and the calamari. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> everyone's favorite. That's everyone's favorite. Right? You, <laughs> as soon as we sit down, we just go ahead and order it. But I know we're going to start um, plating oh, yeah. this up. And um, like again, that. beautiful. And again, make sure you guys check out uh, Wise Guys. It's right there in Main Street. Oh, yeah. It's right next door to uh, Frankie Bones. To Frankie Bones, one of the uh, sister restaurants. Yes, absolutely. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and plate this up. And thank you so much, y'all, for joining us today. And we will be back in just a moment.